Hey you guys, what it is, what's up? Back at it with another video. New day, new me, different shirt. I like blue. And uh, it also matches my eyeballs. So I just thought, you know, I'd put on this nice blue aqua shirt and um, be color coordinated with these guys. So a funny story, I, uh, I made a video not too long ago and it was about anxiety. It's coming in town. Ah! And I filmed this whole video in my room. Oh, what is going? Hello, friend. What's up? We're just gonna fix that and put that over there, like so. Spook. We're gonna talk about anxiety. <laughs> anxiety is a very real thing. I feel like a lot of people in our day and age, uh, in this generation, or however old you are, deal with anxiety on different levels. Some people get social anxiety, some people get anxiety under pressure, some people get anxiety from being alone, depression anxiety. There's many things that activate anxiety and I think that with our culture and social media and platforms and all this stuff, anxiety can come so much more frequently because there's so much spotlight on so many people to maintain a certain image. It's 4 a.m. It's 4 a.m. and you ask me how it's going. You know I don't want you to say nothing to me. You hear what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna lay my own anxiety out on the floor. So a lot of people see me and they're like, oh, you know, Tristan, like he's super happy, super confident, fun-loving guy, all this stuff. Nothing's wrong in his world, you know. The reality is, is I definitely have a lot of anxiety and I think the past few years, especially diving into acting and um, just being in the entertainment industry, I have experienced intense anxiety and it's been really hard. It's, it's caused me to kind of hide from a lot of things, a lot of dreams that I've had. And you can miss out on a lot of opportunity when you're so caught up in your head and caught up in this anxiety that is so real to you. Other people may not see it, but it's such a reality in your life and in your mind that it actually blocks you from doing the things you love. For me, I guess I could start. I get anxiety when I am in certain social settings where there's a lot of people, you know, I kind of have to step out of the box and introduce and get to know new people. I think that has something to do with the stigma that's projected at you, like judgments from other people that's projected at you. I guess I'm very sensitive to people around me. Like I can read people really well. So if I feel like something's off with somebody, I try and go above and beyond or out of my way to make that person feel comfortable, to make them feel seen, to make them just see that like I'm not a threat in any way. And I'm a very deep person, so it, it doesn't take a lot for me to like dive into real life stuff and talk about, you know, meaningful conversation and that sort of thing. So I think that's something that diffuses people's judgment. Nah, yo, hold my poodle, hold my poodle. Hey, yo, what's up, y'all got a problem? Y'all want some of this? You want some of this, punk? What, what, boy, what? Anyway, social settings can be very anxious for me. I also get anxiety if I have, say, an audition for a part and I have to memorize dialogue. So I can get anxiety under pressure like that when it comes to memorizing dialogue and performing. That can be a very anxious thing for me. I actually have taken a step away from acting for this past year. Um, not only because I have a media company, Tethered Media, I have dealt with that anxiety for a long time. I know I'm gonna pursue it more in the future, but right now I'm just, I'm happy with kind of doing the film thing and editing. So a lot of anxiety can come from being in the spotlight with acting and modeling. <laughs> What will happen when I get anxious? So if I am under any pressure, spotlight, if I have attention from people in certain settings, I will get, it's like a physical uh, reaction. I will get very, very flustered, like my friends who know me. Everyone calm down, sit down. Meet you outside, okay? Just don't say anything about what's happening on his face. <laughs> but I get very, very flustered. So if I'm under pressure, uh, I'll feel heat like boom, shoot up my head. And then I get hot like in the face and I can feel it in my cheeks. And it's just this physical reaction. It's not, it's not really, I guess it's in my head, but because this physical thing happens, it goes to my head. 
and it's like, oh my gosh, everyone's looking at me, they know I'm flustered. But the reality is nobody cares, no one's even thinking about that. But in my head, I'm like, oh, I gotta get out of here. Like, I <laughs> need to press a button on my chair and eject and just fly away. So that, that little thing has held me back from so much in my life. The more frequently they happen, the more comfortable you become with yourself and the less it happens, I guess. So I think the times when I get stuck in my head and um, I'm, I'm worried about this anxiety, for me personally, I just give it to God and I can pray and ask for his peace to come in and guide me and bring my whole body to just a calm. Zen, almost. With everything that I'm doing, I'm trusting that I'm doing it for a reason and I have a purpose. So when I think about the bigger picture, this small thing doesn't really matter at the end of the day. And I noticed like the more I talk about it with people, they're like, dude, what are you talking about? Like, you're fine. I didn't even notice that. Like, what? At the end of the day, we all have these different things that nobody else notices. It's, it's only us. It's only us being aware of it. Everyone has these anxious feelings. And when you focus outwardly on other people, you're not focused so much inwardly on yourself and what's going on with your body or your looks or whatever. And it really helps you get out of your mind. So lately I've really been trying to just notice the people around me and start conversations. Those times when I'm feeling anxious and overwhelmed and scared, whatever it is, I've been learning to just flip it. And focus on other people and getting to know other people and starting conversation. And it gets me totally out of my head. And that's been helping me a lot. Yeah, you guys. That was a little spiel on anxiety. And I hope that uh, if you have any anxiety, you have people you can talk to and you learn to really understand the trigger and where that comes from. And through that, you can have healing. If there's any anxiety holding you back from something, maybe it's a dream, a goal, a vision, you can really hone in on what will help get you out of your mind. So you're not so focused on your anxiety, on that thing. And also learning how to talk about it and creating an open space for it with people and friends and community. I think that's very healing in itself. The second that this stuff comes up, you kind of have an accountability now. They can reaffirm you and remind you what you're doing and who you are and the talent that you have and how amazing you are. So at the end of the day, we all need each other. We all need to be encouraged. Um, we need inspiration. The only way you're gonna bust down that wall is if you go head on and you just keep doing what makes you nervous and anxious and eventually it becomes secondhand. Like it will become so easy and you're gonna look back five years from now and be like, I can't believe that was holding me back for so long. I can't believe that because of that little tiny thing, it stopped me from so much. Like I'm so much stronger now and it's on to the next mountain. Thank you guys for listening to my spiel on anxiety. I just want you to know you're not alone. If you feel anxiety, you are not the only one. Invite people in around you and check out my Instagram and Trinity Ray. Subscribe for more videos. I'm gonna have some more fun content. I'm gonna start posting more like travel stuff. Things that I've legitimately been doing, um, not just on Instagram, but on YouTube as well. So in the future, I plan on going to Tulum, Bali, maybe Thailand, and we kind of want to do outreach as well. So I'm really excited for that. But I hope you guys have a spectacular day. Go outside, get some fresh air, smell the roses. Spring is in the air. And uh, that's all for now. Ciao.